Hey there, fellow crypto enthusiasts and market observers. We're delighted to welcome you aboard here on Key to Crypto or KTC, your ultimate hub of everything related to crypto. In today's video, we'll be diving deep into Mark Yusko's insights on recent Bitcoin news. He's talking about how Eric Bunn played his cards right in this crypto game. You see, there's a whopping $30 trillion in assets that are currently off limits for the world of Bitcoin. Big investment firms have basically told them, sorry, no Bitcoin for you. But here's where it gets interesting. When BlackRock launches their Bitcoin ETF, the rules are going to change. Imagine, even if it's just a tiny 0.1% allocation from that $30 trillion, we're talking about $30 billion flooding into Bitcoin. Now, some might say, hey, $30 billion isn't that much when you're dealing with a $500 billion market. But here's the kicker. That $500 billion doesn't really trade like you'd expect. In fact, only about $100 billion of that is in active circulation on a daily basis. So when you throw $30 billion into the mix, you better believe it's going to make waves. In the past few months, the crypto world has been buzzing with excitement, all thanks to BlackRock's application for a spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund back in June. This move has sparked a wave of optimism about how such a product could pave the way for more institutional investments in cryptocurrencies. You see, there's a catch here. Currently, thousands of institutional investors managing trillions of dollars in the United States are in a tough spot because they can't directly invest in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Why? Blame it on the maze of regulations. And then comes BlackRock, the big kahuna of the asset management world boasting a jaw-dropping $9.42 trillion in assets under its careful watch as of June 30th, 2023. But that's not all that makes BlackRock stand out. It's a heavyweight in Wall Street, and it wields considerable influence in Washington. Just take a look at its astonishing 575 to 1 exchange-traded fund approval rate that speaks volumes. But here's where it gets even more interesting. The timing of BlackRock's ETF application couldn't have been more perfect. You see, Bitcoin and the entire crypto market have weathered various market conditions. We've moved beyond the stage where people questioned whether the crypto industry was here to stay. Now, there's a surge in institutional interest. The then-they-laugh-at-you phase, as Mark Yusko describes it, is history. This isn't some mythical internet money. It's as real as it gets. And the icing on the cake? We're on the brink of a major shift in the Federal Reserve strategy. This will send asset prices rocketing skyward, and people are urgently looking to diversify into solid, tangible assets. Mark Yusko, a heavyweight himself as the founder of Morgan Creek Capital Investments and a renowned hedge fund manager, is confident that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission will give the green light to BlackRock's application. And if it does get approved, brace yourself, because at least $30 billion is set to flood into the crypto industry in the blink of an eye. The stage is set, the players are in place, and the crypto world is on the verge of some major moves. Stay tuned, folks. In the latest episode of Mark's Weekly Roundup with BlockWorks Macro, our renowned hedge fund manager and crypto enthusiast Mark weighed in on Cointelegraph's recent hasty and now retracted Bitcoin ETF approval news. Mark doesn't believe the report was entirely false, just a bit premature. When the actual approval eventually arrives, Mark, who serves as the CIO and Managing Director of Morgan Creek Capital, predicts a potential influx of up to $300 billion in fresh Bitcoin investments. Before we dive into the highlights from this captivating discussion between Mark and BlockWorks Mike Iatello, please take a moment to show your support by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Your engagement means the world to us. Now let's get back to the topic at hand. Mark made it clear that he retweeted the initial news with some skepticism, saying it might not be true. However, if it turns out to be accurate, he wants everyone to know he called it. According to Mark, BlackRock's eventual approval is not a question of if, but when. He has no doubts that BlackRock's entrance into the market will lead to increased demand, driving prices higher. Mark points out that in the crypto space, one essential question remains. Is this already priced into the market, or is there more room to grow? 
He draws a parallel with the Roaring Twenties when equities were manipulated. Scams were rampant, and major movements often stemmed from rumors. He stressed the significance of BlackRock's entry, as there are trillions of dollars that are currently unable to invest in Bitcoin due to regulatory restrictions. When a BlackRock ETF is approved, these firms will have to allow their customers to invest in Bitcoin. Even a conservative allocation of 0.1%, representing $30 billion, will have an impact on the market. Mark further explored the scenario where institutions allocate 1% to Bitcoin, which is still a prudent investment. This would mean $300 billion flowing into a $500 billion market cap asset, a substantial shift that, in his view, is not yet fully reflected in the current prices. The debate surrounding whether the ETF approval is priced in or not continues to be a hot topic within the crypto community. As the market matures and analysis evolves, the space is poised for more exciting developments. Stay tuned for more insightful discussions only here on KTC. In the world of crypto, the recent roller coaster ride provided ample proof that the ETF approval is far from being priced in. But not everyone sees it that way. Joe Conser and Nick Bacha, authors of the Bitcoin Layer newsletter, offer a different perspective. They referred to Monday's pump as measly and dismissed it as an intraday price increase, suggesting that most of the fanfare and price surges stemming from potential spot ETF approval are already baked into Bitcoin's current price. They emphasize that Bitcoin remains a risk asset, and with an expected economic downturn on the horizon, they believe a massive influx of capital into a spot ETF is unlikely. Alex Crayer, co-founder of Asgard Markets and an investment research firm, argues that Monday's price action demonstrates that nothing is pre-priced into Bitcoin's current value. According to him, those who believe the ETF approval is already factored in have been proven wrong, and he anticipates a significant upward move, possibly exceeding 20% upon approval. In another twist, Mark touches on Larry Fink, the president of BlackRock, and his recent appearance on CNBC. Despite some debates on whether CNBC qualifies as real TV, Mark acknowledges the significance of Larry's statements. Larry mentioned a flight to quality in treasuries, gold, and even crypto, notably Bitcoin, as investors seek safe havens amidst uncertain economic conditions. While the term crypto sometimes irritates crypto enthusiasts who prefer the distinction of Bitcoin, Larry's application is primarily for Bitcoin, leading to speculation that regulations might constrain his wording. In terms of economic data, growth figures suggest an upturn with a projected 5% growth rate. However, the soaring oil prices, particularly gasoline prices at the pump, may impact the next election. The current national debt is a staggering 33.5 trillion, a colossal figure, though it becomes even more significant when adjusted for inflation. The looming concern lies in the concealed insolvency of numerous regional banks and heavily leveraged companies that borrowed at low rates, only to place excessive pressure on their balance sheets. The momentum toward Bitcoin ETFs continues to gain momentum. Notably, JP Morgan, the nation's largest bank by assets, anticipates the SEC approving a Bitcoin ETF by January 10, 2024. Bloomberg analysts share a similar prediction, underscoring the rising prospects for an ETF. CryptoQuant, a data analytics firm, is even more bullish, projecting a 50% increase in Bitcoin's market capitalization upon ETF approval. They estimate Bitcoin becoming a $900 billion asset with the entire crypto market expanding by an additional $1 trillion. If the issuers who have applied to list Bitcoin ETFs allocate just 1% of their assets under management, roughly $55 billion could flow into the cryptocurrency space. So, the big question is, do you believe the approval of the Bitcoin ETF will usher in billions of dollars into the crypto ecosystem, or are you more cautious due to the current macroeconomic conditions? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. That's it for now. If you enjoyed today's content, show your support with a like and hit that subscribe button. Together, let's build a community where curiosity and wisdom are freely exchanged and nurtured. Until next time, and remember the future of finance is here with KTC.